This Arsenal team under Mikel Arteta is special and no one can tell me that I'm wrong about that. It was an extraordinary game. I think it was an incredible performance uh, from the players and from our people. The atmosphere that we generated in the stadium is the best I've seen this season. We demanded that. We had to go to a different level and connect it again. Beating Liverpool without giving them one big chance the whole game with that much XG and that many shots on target in a whole 90 minutes against a Liverpool team that yes, did have injuries, but still had some of its key players, is unreal. No one is acknowledging it properly. And this is the thing, everyone's looking at City because now City can make up all these points, whatever, whatever. But I literally think that Arsenal now are in a great position to challenge for the title after this win against Liverpool. Previously drawing against them as well, we haven't dropped that many points this season to Liverpool, which is a huge thing to say. Along with that, we've got three points at City. Yeah, it does because winning helps and as well obviously the, the schedule that we had prior to Christmas, the amount of players that played so many minutes, uh, we were some injuries and, uh, and we needed to recharge and uh, now we've got some momentum back. Three wins in a row in a really convincing way, the team performing really well and we have to go for it. It's, the whole season is now ahead of us, we need players back because now we have again a few injuries and, and that's a big concern that I have, you know, availability of the squad, we have everybody fit, training and available, we have a good chance. We lost out on points and games that we shouldn't have lost points on. But at the end of the day, right now we're here, we're still fighting. Mikel has done amazing and uh, literally one of the best games that I've watched all season. And it was amazing just to watch us win 3-1. I know that we got fortunate. I know that there were definitely 100% moments there that maybe shouldn't have happened. But at the end of the day, we won. It doesn't matter. We're in a great title race now. There's three teams in the title race, maybe four. And it's getting really, really good this year. I think this time of year, last year, we was at the top by five points, which we are five points worse off than what we was last season. But still, I mean, the teams we dropped points to, they were stupid. And, you know, we had a slump. We had a bit of a winter slump, which is something that comes around quite a bit for quite a few teams. And I wasn't surprised by that. It's just... Now we have to move on and be every single person that comes in front of us. We got West Ham next and, you know, we, we literally just lost to West Ham and we need to basically avenge that and we need to go and get these points and smash through this title charge because right now I don't see, unless Thomas Party came back, I don't see a better team that is more equipped to win the league than Arsenal right now. Man City still have an amazing squad, a better squad, don't get me wrong, but they've won the treble. They're not going to be as motivated. They've done this last season. Do you know what I mean? How, how many times have you seen a team do something like that two seasons in a row, have the same motivation two seasons in a row, keep that same edge? It just doesn't happen because once you win everything, what is there to do? And that's how I see it this season. I think this is going to be an amazing title race and I am so, so happy for Mikel Arteta and what he's done in the four years. I literally had just made a video the other day talking about all the people that talk down on him and I guarantee you now if you went on Twitter if you went on wherever you would not see a single person talking shit on Mikel Arteta right now everyone is praising him at the start of the game I thought it was a terrible decision to start Jorginho Jorginho had a man of the match performance and I was completely wrong about it I predicted that we would get smashed and we didn't and that's the thing I was surprised I thought we would get smashed but we didn't and now we're here now the league is exciting and now I finally have that thrill back of a title race it's not just you know a Bayern Munich situation where Man City is storming it every season Pep is here Mikel is here Klopp is here one last season with these three because Klopp will be leaving I don't know about Pep but I know Mikel won't be but one last season of this type of title race and I'm so excited that it's at least three teams it could be four we don't know yet either way the football's been amazing the game was brilliant everything was amazing other than the terrible goal that we gave away other than that i think mikel's got his team i think i think mikel needs you know one or two more signings a striker and a cdm and and he's got his team and i think arsenal are very very well established and i think mikel is really cooking this guy has transformed the club and i feel like it's time that some people put some respect on mikel arteta's name